Okay, well, uh, welcome to wineandfoodgossip.com. My name's Andrew from Brown Brothers, and uh, it's great to be able to talk to you at, uh, at this fantastic new website. Uh, at Brown Brothers, we're a family-owned company and have been for over 120 years now. Our, our first vintage in northeast Victoria at our Millowa Vineyard was back in 1989, and uh, we've been continuously making wine since then. Brown Brothers is a, a family-owned company, but also a, a family-run company. And uh, Ross Brown, one of the one of the brothers, is the CEO of the company, and his older brother sits on the board of directors. So not only are we family-owned, we're family-operated, and it's something that we're really proud of uh, in this in the wine industry at the moment. Brown Brothers has a, a great uh, passion for innovation, and you can see some of our products beside me here. And, this is just a small snapshot of the range of wines that Brown Brothers has and at the moment at our cellar door at the Millowa Vineyard we have over 40 wines on our wine list and you know ranging from your sparkling wines right through to your sticky dessert wines and you know we have a range of, of wines so that uh, we, we've worked out over the years that people like different styles and if we've got a number of different styles then we can cater to all those those range of palettes and you know, for, for you foodies out there that love wine and food matching, if you've got one particular style of wine, you're very limited in the styles of food that you can do. And so a great range of wine gives you so much more options when it comes to wine and food matching. In terms of our vineyards, we uh, op operate uh, right throughout Victoria and from very, very cool climate growing conditions right at the top of the King Valley at 800 metres above sea level right down to our Swan Hill Vineyard, our Mystic Park Vineyard, which is only 70 metres above sea level, a much warmer climate vineyard where some of our fruitier style wines come from. We've got a few wines here beside me. This, uh, this wine here, Prosecco, it's a grape variety from Italy that we've uh, just released into the market and it's going to be one of the most exciting wines for Brown Brothers to come out in 2009. The Prosecco grape variety it tends to be a grape variety that is very light and fresh and crisp and in, in northern Italy around the Veneto area they make this wine into a, a full sparkling wine that's, that has those light and refreshing characters and it's the wine that they use to start off a meal with, uh, you know, with oysters and sardines and things that are really lively and crisp and fresh and that's what we're going to be looking to promote the Prosecco with over the next sort of 12 months or so. So really exciting wine for us uh, coming, coming up into the future. We've got the Old Faithful, the, the Crucian and Riesling that's uh, just been a real stalwart for Brown Brothers over, over many, many years now. We started making this back in the 70s and really didn't understand where it was going to uh, end up for us as a product and it continues to be one of the most popular wines in the Brown Brothers portfolio. Crucian's quite an obscure grape variety from southern France and uh, as a grape variety it gives really lovely tropical fruit characteristics to this wine. And then we've got a small amount of Riesling, around about 20% makes up the blend and Riesling has really fantastic acidity and it balances out these lovely fruity tropical fruit characteristics. And this is a fantastic wine with spicy curries, Asian style broths that have some really nice chilli heat and also with the selection of uh, wash rind cheeses and, and lighter cheeses, your camemberts and brie's and things like that are fantastic with Crucian and Riesling. At Brown Brothers we've got our restaurant, uh, it's our wine and food matching restaurant, we call it our Epicurean Centre. And an Epicurean Centre is someone who cultivates an interest in the finer things and we take that to someone who cultivates an interest in wine and food matching. And so what we do at our Epicurean Centre, we, uh, we don't go in and say, here's our food and uh, you might like a Shiraz with it. We say, here's our Shiraz and we've matched our Shiraz to this fantastic, whatever it might be, kangaroo sirloin with cracked black pepper and a red wine jus sauce. Things like that are fantastic with Shiraz and at our Epicurean Centre we can explore wine and food, food matching and the, the science behind wine and food matching and it's a really exciting place to visit if you're a, if you're a real foodie like, uh, like myself. The, the restaurant has about uh, eight or nine uh, savoury dishes 
and uh, three or four desserts and a couple of cheeses and and we uh, we have a wine that's included in the price with each dish on that menu so that um, almost the decision making uh, of the wine and food has, has been uh, done for you and you get to experience what we think is the best wine in our portfolio with with the food that we have on offer and uh, it's been a, a great phenomenon for us and it was opened in 1994 and was one of the first uh, winery restaurants that was opened in Australia and it's really taken our offering at Brown Brothers to a new level in terms of our, our wine and food. The, uh, the winery itself, we have a cellar door there and uh, at the cellar door we get between 90 and 100,000 visitors a year and it makes it a fantastic test market and things like Moscato Rosa and the predecessor to Moscato Rosa, our white Moscato, started off at the cellar door as uh, wines that people could only uh, get through the cellar door and the cellar door we test people's uh, tastes on wines and if they like them then it's obvious that they're going to go out and buy them at a later time and Ross Brown, the CEO of Brown Brothers, has a fantastic saying that people vote with their pockets and if people buy the wines and we track the sales of these wines obviously and if people buy the wines and like the wines then we look at planting new grapes and uh, making more of the wines and taking them out to a national level so people can get them in in bottle shops and retail outlets and, and in restaurants and, and that's a really great uh, progression for our wines because we've never had a wine that's worked at our cellar door and has, has, has been, uh, has been sell, had sold well at cellar door that hasn't then sold well out on the national market. So really exciting, uh, really exciting place to be, the cellar door. The last wine that I want to talk about today is part of our Patricia range of wines. Now, Patricia was the matriarch of Brown Brothers and uh, uh, in 2003 we released the Patricia range of wines and Patricia was a uh, you know, beautiful person and you know loved being involved in the company and I know Ross and John uh, Brown they really love talking about the morning teas at uh, you know in Patricia's kitchen she'd bake beautiful scones and serve the tea and they'd all sit around the morning tea table and talk about what was going to happen with the company over the next coming days and all the decisions were made over the over the the morning tea uh, coffee and scones the Patricia range of wines was really a, uh, a, a, a thank you to Patricia Brown, a recognition for her dedication and hard work into the company. And when I first started with the company back in 1994, Patricia Brown was still doing the mail run for Brown Brothers into into our local into our local post office, and so you know right up until she was 80, uh, 80, 82 years old, was really involved in the company and just wanted to be involved. So this range of wines was really that recognition for her hard work. It's our flagship range of wines. The best grapes that we get each year go into the Patricia range of wines. This is the Shiraz, and so the Shiraz for this mainly comes from uh, our uh, Heathcote vineyard in central Victoria, and Heathcote just a, a really great buzz region for uh, Shiraz at the moment. Uh, with the Patricia label, when, uh, when Ross Brown told Patricia that we were going to release the wines under her label, uh, she got a little bit emotional, a little bit teary, and uh, that s sent everyone off. Everyone started getting emotional then, and, and she gathered herself and she said, Well, Ross, that's fine to put my name on the labels, but the wines better be bloody good. And so that was, uh, you know, everyone had a laugh about that. And uh, we're on notice from the gods. Patricia passed away about two years after we labelled the, the, the range after her. And so, you know, we're on notice from above that we have to keep making these wines to the, to the very pinnacle of standard that we can at Brown Brothers. And, you know, I think that's a great story to finish on. And, uh, you know, I thank you for your time and I hope you keep enjoying wine and food.